In this video, you're going to learn how to censor beep out words like or So let's get into it. To censor out a word, we just need to cut out that word and replace it with whatever noise. So to do that, what I've done is I've added a marker at the start of the word and a marker at the end of the word. So if you're in your own audio clip here, if you wanna create a marker, you can press M to create a marker. And then if you need to go to that marker, you can press Shift M and it will go to the next marker. Now I'm going to press C and cut at this marker. And then I'm gonna press Shift M to go to that next marker point. And I'm going to cut as well by clicking. Then I can just press V to go back to the selection tool, select that part in between and delete it. So now we don't have that audio at all. So I can just play that back. Welcome back to Premiere Gal. So now we need to add a beep noise in there. To do that, to do that we can go over to the project panel, right click or control click and create new item bars and tone and make sure it's in the resolution that you're working in. It should default. So in this case, it's 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. Then we can double click to open up the bars and tone inside of the source panel. So let's just play this. So because this is five minutes worth, we don't need that much. So we could just set an out point right here. So instead of taking the picture and the audio, you can select this little audio icon to just drag the audio only. So click and let's drag this into our timeline. And then we can just roll this tone into place to just fill in that empty hole. And this is what it sounds like. Welcome back to Premiere Gal. So there we go, we have the instant beep in place. So by the way, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to Premiere Gal. According to my analytics, not a lot of you are subscribed. So if you're watching this and this tip is helping you out, be sure to subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. Also, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, which is my go-to creative marketplace to download stock video, uh, music, sound effects, graphics templates. It has everything. And the best part is, is that it's unlimited and you can use the assets in any number of projects that you want. And if you'd like to try it out, you can get 70% off your first month using my link below. And trust me, it's awesome. One of the categories that's overlooked in elements is the sound effects. So for example, for sensor beeping, let's say you don't want the standard bars and tone beep, but you want like an animal sound or like a trumpet instead. So what I've done is I've searched for different animal noises. I think I found a horse and an elephant, and I'm gonna show you how you can drag and drop that and just replace that beep to have a funny animal noise. So what I've done here is I've imported this elephant sound effect. Let's play this back. And you can see that some of them are different durations. So this is the more difficult part about using sound effects is that you need to find a beep that's long enough or short enough for the word that you are trying to beep out. So you just have to play around with a, a little bit more. So for example, for this part here, let's try the second elephant noise. And let's see how long it is. So I'll press I for in. And here I'll drag this to the end of the sound effect and press O and then I'll drag the audio only. And you can see visually it's a little bit too long. So we can try a shorter one. Let's try this one. Right. I for in, O for out. And we can delete this one and let's drag this down. And I think this one will fit nicely. So let's go ahead and a tip to move over audio frame by frame is to use the option key and press the left and right arrow brackets. So see how I'm moving it over to get it more aligned. Let me just make this audio track a bit smaller. That's better. And now let's play it back and see how it sounds. Fun and welcome back to Premiere Gal. So it works. If you need to increase the volume of the elephant, you can see here I have the clip volume bar here. If you don't see that, you can go to the wrench tool and show audio waveform as well as show audio keyframes. And here I can just increase it up, for example, by 1.5 decibels to make it a little bit louder. Welcome back to 
premier gal. We've censored with audio, but what about censoring visually? We can actually use the Essential Graphics panel to do that, and it's really easy to do. So move your playhead to the moment where you want to cover somebody's mouth, and then we can go over here from the toolbar and select the Type tool, and we can just type out some random symbols that represent kind of a swear word, something like that. And then we can go to Essential Graphics, and by default, I've already stylized it in this way, but I've chosen the Montserrat black font. I've filled it black, and then I added a background. So if you have this unchecked, there will not be a background. So I've checked this, and I've made a rounded corner by using this rounded corner bit. You can make it more round or less round. And you can, you know, increase the transparency to make it fully opaque if you want. So that's exactly what I did. And then you can go up to scale here and scale it down to fit over somebody's mouth. And you can use the position controls here to get it right over that person's mouth. And you can rotate it here if you need to rotate it if somebody's mouth is like to the side. And just like that. And then this graphics layer, we just need to place it and cut it during this moment. So press C to get to the cut tool again, cut, press V, and then delete the excess off. So now it looks like this. Welcome back to <laughs> Premiere Gal. So if you have a string of swear words that you need to censor, you would do the exact same thing. You would just replace each moment with a beep or an animal noise and also create a text overlay for each word. And that's exactly what I did in the intro and I'll play it one more time. Beep out words like <laughs> or <laughs> So let's get into it. So that's how you censor audio inside of Premiere Pro. Have fun with it. And if you want to learn more audio tips in Premiere, you can check out my playlist right over here. And you can click over here to see some of my favorite Envato Elements templates. That's all for this video. And as always, keep creating an awesome video with Premiere Gal. See you next time. Bye.